I literally cannot handle access issues anymore. Like, I really, really fucking can't. But, like, if something goes wrong, like, if we walk in here right now and they're like, get that fucking dog out of here, I will literally be like, take me home. My dear lord. Oh, get her. Get her, T. Get her. <laughs> is that a good boy right there? Is that a good boy right there? All right, what is up, guys? We are. <laughs> I think you got her. I think you got her, T. Get up there, T. Come on, get up there. Here, come on, we'll help your butt. Come on, come on. She can do it herself, but she likes the extra help. She's just now learning how to get up on the bed <laughs> herself. And let me tell you, for as much as puppy does, <laughs> my dogs are so freaking good with her. Oh yeah, tear it up. Tear it up in here. Oh, oh, oh. Running, running. <laughs> Don't just like, come on, guys. What's the hold up? What's the hold up, T? <laughs> Cody is usually the very social butterfly. I'm going to play with whoever I want to play with. I don't care. You can stay as long as you want until you annoy me. Then I'm going to passively, aggressively take my anger out on you as you are witnessing at this moment. <laughs> How did your collar get taken off? <laughs> How did your collar get taken off? Heck if I know. I really need to go through my room. I have just like random stuff everywhere. Like I just have too much stuff to be honest. Like just way, way too much. So I especially need to like go through all that. This like clean clothes that I threw up there and like shoes. Um, come here, let's put this back on. Come here, put your, uh, sit down. Can you put your collar back on? Put it on, put it on, put your collar on, put it on, put it on, come on, come here, Cody, come, come here, put your collar on, oh, come here, come here, come here, put your collar on, oh. <laughs> put your collar on, Dakota, can you put your collar on, please, can you please put this on, Dakota, come, put this collar on, put it on, put your collar on. Babe, Max, can you put your collar on? <laughs> he knows how, but it doesn't quite fit, Max. <laughs> Good boy. Cody, put your collar on. Ouch! <laughs> you biting me. Oh, my God. Group kisses. <sighs> Everybody always asks me where this collar is from. This is actually a Velcro collar with a handle. And this is actually a One Tigress collar. Um, so, yeah, so, <laughs> that's the tea on that. Cody, can you put this on? Please, put this on. Oh, she's like, I'm getting bugged right now, Mom, I really can't. Cody, Cody, put your collar on. Dakota Maxine, Dakota, put your collar on. Thank you. I appreciate it. You little beautiful girl, you, you little beautiful girl, you. Oh, baby, Max is like, please give me some love. So it's also later in the day. Um, Nate is getting off work and he is coming over here. Um, so yeah, that's the tea. Oh, he might actually be here because Avery is barking. So that's the tea. So Avery doesn't sleep in here. You guys know Avery isn't my dog. Um, so Avery usually sleeps with Shy. So that's why you don't really see him that much. Um, but he's, he's doing good. <gasps> Woof. Like, even just the desk, like, I want to find a better way to get all those wires set up because it just looks eh. Hi, mister. Oh my god, look at you and your little nose. Boop. <laughs> and you boop, 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 bo
<laughs> you look funny. <laughs> You're so cute. So yeah, I definitely want to tackle this room a little bit. It gets messy just because we get busy with Pup. Um, the little baby, she takes a lot of energy. So Baymax also had a fun time today barking at a FedEx worker. So that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, because the package came, which I'm excited to show you guys. We got some really, really cool stuff from one of our favorite dog gear brands ever. Say ever. <laughs> I looked at the time and Nate would be getting off like exactly right now. So there's no way that he could be here. So I was wrong about that. Um, but yeah, I just spent like probably an hour just like editing. Max, no. Um, editing a video that I want to get out for you guys. It's like me reacting to one of my old videos and definitely if you guys go watch that, definitely let me know what you think. Um, <laughs> cause you know, things are just so different now and I've kind of been off YouTube for about two years now, like since I was really like on it, on it. So things are a lot more different now. I want to show you, come here. I love you. I love you. Um, so yeah, especially opinions and just obviously, I I've just grown a lot. When I stopped YouTube, I was like, just turned 17 and now I am 19 and a half, period. So yeah, definitely some things are very, very different. Um, and yeah, that's the tea. Um, so I don't know. I, I think it's really cool to like go back and look and just be like, oh, okay, I wish I should, I should have done this or, oh yeah, I could have done this. Um, and definitely witnessing myself kind of like grow as a person was pretty cool. Ugh. Oh God, you're murdering her. You're mur this bitch has her whole mouth across Cody's head. Look at this shit that we have to deal with. Oh, oh, oh. Tundra can be a nuisance, but we we stan her. She's <laughs> all right, all right. Tundra is a cuddle bug, and she likes to lay on people. I don't know if she just Cody's like, please stop, stop. Poor codes. All right, T, let's get you backed up. You are so rude, Cody. <laughs> Cody's like, please, please, please spam me. Please. <laughs> okay, it's funny. <laughs> Cody usually, Cody's really good with puppy corrections too because she just kind of holds her there. Like, <laughs> look at this shit. Oh my god. I know, she's very obnoxious, Codes. Poor Cody. She's like, stop! Oh my god. What am I gonna do with these two? All right, so I threw a little bit of a makeup on because apparently we are going out to eat somewhere. So, I, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. We're gonna go eat something. Cody's gonna come with, aren't you? You gonna go work? Do you wanna go to work? Would you like to? You wanna go work? Yeah? What do you think? What do you think? Oh my God, I love you. I love you. I love you too. I love you too. Okay, I love you too. I love you too. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go. You wanna go work? What do you think? Max is like, can I come? Possibly? You go next time, baby. You can go next time, but it's Cody's turn. You you did it last time, so it's... But she's like, don't you even dare. Don't you even dare think about letting him go, not me. Cody can get jealous when it's Max's turn to work and not hers. That's about the only issue I've ever had um, with having two working dogs, <laughs> um, is that Cody does get jealous, so. But it's kind of cute. Like, hey Max, would you like to go? That's kind of mean, but Cody's excited. Aren't you? You wanna get geared up? You ready to go? You wanna get geared up and ready to go? What do you think? Dad is almost here, so we are gonna get geared up. Alright, so that means I have to find everything. <laughs> and usually, I keep my frog in here, but it could have been moved because we did use it the other day. So hopefully, no, it doesn't look like it's in here. It looks like it was moved, which means I'm really going to look for it now. Um, and I literally just have clothes upon clothes literally freaking everywhere. Ah, this is my life now. I'm very discombobulated. Um, I'm not very good at putting things in a certain spot. Oop, found it. Okay, it's attached to this leash. 
I'm going to take that leaf out. I'm going to use a real one. I do believe that this is size for Max since he's the last one. Oops, it's tangled. This is the worst part about prongs, they get tangled. Let's see, let's see. I know you're so excited. What if we went to put on Max? Oh, uh, she's like, no, but it's my turn. Yeah, that's size for Max. So they do use the same prong right now just because I actually fucking lost the other one. So funny thing is Baymax is only two um, links off of Cody's. So come here, Cody. So I usually only have to take two links off. I could take another, but it's all right. Um, so like two to three links difference between Cody and Max. Um, so right now I just take it off, put it up on my shelf and then um, reattach it later to get it ready for Max. Um, let's see. Now we need a harness of some kind, but I, let me go find something for her to wear. Hello. Hi. Welcome home. Welcome home. I missed you. I missed you too. Give me a hug. Hi vlog. <laughs> I got the vlog. Oh, we can't oh see each god. other. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a wild night in Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Woof, woof, motherfucker. I like that you're holding my pants like a collar. Yep. Ah, you just gave me a wedgie. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> woof. Woof. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Back up, you. Say hi. Who's that, T? Back up, babe. Get him, T. Oh, oh, oh. T oh. Avery. Avery. Oh, boy. Ow. Avery. <laughs> gotta say hi. Gotta say hi. Duh. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh my god. She's like, oh my god, it's my dad. Come on, Ave. She's like, uh. Here we go. That's not yours. That's not your human. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Jealous. He's like, play with me instead. <sighs> You're bullying her. <laughs> Are you a good boy? Oh, yeah. They're supposed to honor the warranty. Yeah, only up to 150. 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 Yeah, only Come here, my codes. So I did just remember that her harness was in the truck. I left it there. So I couldn't get a cute video of her putting it on, but <laughs> she'll put it on in the car. Baymax is going to kennel. Sad boy hours. Sad boy hours. Yeah. Why are you hitting me? Why are you hitting me? Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you so excited? All right. Yeah. Yeah, she oh. hey, head. Put it on. Can't really see that. She's getting geared up. Cody, Come put your gear on. Come on, don't be difficult. She's like, wait, what? Oh my god, Nate trying to do this is funny. Good job. <laughs> Come here. Pa goes through this one. True. Okay, now clip it under her belly. Yeah, I just gotta get her to. She's like, okay. I had to do it one hand. <laughs> Say thank you. Hey, baby. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, coins. Uh, well, so we figured out that we are going to go to Chili's. Um, I've never taken Cody to this Chili's before, so just as a precaution, I brought a law card because can't go anywhere without them. Good laws, you know? Right, Nene? Paperweight. What's paperweight? Paperweight. Why would it be a paperweight, you meanie head? They should know them. I know, they should know them, but it sucks because there's not that much education anymore. Well, I mean, there wasn't. Hopefully it gets better. We'll see here. So, yeah, that's the tea. Are you excited? Oh. Because of lighting, duh. I forgot. Are you yeah, I'm excited. excited. I haven't been out to eat in a while. I know, me neither. It's Sorry. like Applebee's, but it was just awkward. <laughs> Alright, who's excited? Ow. Oh, fucker. 
<laughs> I always gotta put it up there, but down here is better. Cody, are you excited? Are you excited? Oh. I love you. Cody, you can get your drink. <laughs> here you go. Here. She's like, oh. Let me just sniff it. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually kind of scared. This is my problem. This is my anxiety. I get scared going in places now because. Plus you're a pussy. I, I just get scared going in places, especially restaurants with a working dog. I used to just walk in that bitch like I own the joint, but like if something goes wrong, like if we walk in here right now and they're like, get that fucking dog out of here, I will literally be like, take me home. I know. So. I'll stay on my ground. You'll stay on your ground for me? Mm -hmm. Oh. We love a, um, what would you call that? Proactive advocate. Proactive advocate? Okay, period queen. Period. Something like say that. Say period. Period pool. Period. <laughs> All right, let's see how it goes. Oh my God, to let her out over there. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. You look so handsome. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, codes. Are you ready? Let's get that leash. All right. I can't for like a corner to jump out in. Okay, come on. Let's go potty. Let's go potty. It's kind of a hill, but you know. Come on, goats. Yeah, yeah, fuck that steak and shake. <laughs> Never wants to give us any honey mustard. <laughs> no. I'm the uh, oh, yeah. All right, you ready to go, Mama? I think she's good. She went potty at home. What's up, vlog? Back at it again with a hip new video, right? We're back at the hip video. Cody was so good. She did, I don't even know. It was like two Whoa. or three. It was two or three alerts that she did in there. I only like told you about four. one, but she was really doing a good job. Oh. Nobody said anything, so anxiety was, was doing all right. Cody was well behaved. The waitress, she she did make me nervous though because she would like crouch down at the table and I was like, why? <laughs> Just because she would crouch down, I'm like. <laughs> but Cody didn't even move, nothing, which I didn't really expect her to, but like just in case, because it's been a while since we've been out to a restaurant. Um, so yeah, let's check this cookie out. Yeah. We, ha we got to go boxes because we couldn't, they, well they brought our app out later. They brought it out like 10 minutes after. We were food. like, um, what about our appetizer? <laughs> and uh, then we took dessert home because it came with everything. So we get a little ice cream. Here, here's your ice cream. You did a good job. <laughs> That's your payment for today. Ice cream. Hey Cody, tell me how this looks. Oh, does that look busting? That look busting. I wanna see. That cookie look bustin' bustin'. Whoa. That's a big ass cookie. <laughs> big ass cookie, huh, Codes? Cody's like, anything for me? Anything else for me? That's a big ass forehead, girl. <laughs> uh. Tea. Made it to Circle K because Nate has to fill up his greedy ass truck that spends more money than he spends more money on good old Tundra here than he does on me. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cody, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for, Mama? I think she's daydreaming. Cody's definitely a daydreamer. Look at her. Hello. <laughs> it actually took a dollar and eighty six eighty cents less than what I said. Really? Yeah. yeah. What did you think it was gonna be? I thought it was gonna be over sixty five dollars. Why the accent? Why not? Because people in other countries are offended, and we don't need any World War Three shit going on with any more countries. You're right. Where are you going? I'm going to pull over by the door. We gotta get polar pops. Gang, gang. Go get some polar pops. Oh, just 
stay. Oh crap. Oh, oh crap. Okay. So I didn't really um turn the camera on yet today, but I kind of decided to like roll out of bed. Like I watched Grays for like 20 minutes. Um, my mom was on the phone with the dealership, so she's been having trouble with her car. So my family, me and my mom, I should say, we like Priuses. Um, so that was what my car was. I still have my car, but my car is not safe to drive. And so basically, um, <laughs> there's a whole big spiel with my car. I'm gonna sell it. And I'm not really worried about getting another car right this moment but obviously my mom needs her car. So her car, I don't know all the correct terms or names and Nate could tell you way better since he's a mechanic, but um, basically there was like this one part um, that has to do with like the braking system and um, she ended up crushing her car and took it to the collision center. The collision center repaired her car, but was like, yeah, we can't do nothing about that part because we don't know if that really happened from the crash. And like my mom just like kind of bumped into another car. So it wasn't like, you know, they were like, yeah, we don't really handle that part. Plus that's a $3,000 part. <laughs> my mom was like three grand. Oh hell no, I'm gonna go somewhere and I'm gonna figure this out. So she talked it over with Nate. Nate tried to like look up the part at his store. Um, and yeah, it was still an expensive part. It only came in kits. So that was almost two grand. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot of, you know, drama going on. But the guy at the collision center says, I'm pretty sure that part has been recalled off of your Prius. So I'm pretty sure if you were to call Toyota and talk to them, that they'd probably just fix it because it was recalled. And my mom's like, I never got a recall call for that. So she called Toyota and Toyota was like, yeah, that part was recalled. Don't know why it's still in your car. So I'd bring it in. So my mom's waiting in line. I'm waiting in the Toyota parking lot in my sister's car, just kind of chilling. I don't have a dog with me only because um, obviously we're dropping off my mom's car and this is my sister's car. Um, I don't know if you guys can see here. I don't know if you guys can see, there is a baby carrier behind me because for those of you that don't know, I have a nephew. He's about to turn one in April. Oh my God. Um, so I just got back from seeing him today and oh my God, he's so cute. Literally the cutest fucking thing ever. I wish I could have filmed, but um, they are a little bit more private. So you guys will see him occasionally, but don't count on always seeing him. Um, hopefully once he gets older, he can definitely pop in and be like, hey, you know, if you guys saw the intro, he's in the intro, he's the baby in the intro, so that is my nephew, his name is Andrew, I love him to fucking bits, he's my favorite nephew, you know, because he's the only one, but he's definitely my fave, um, so yeah, that's the tea, so that is why I don't have a dog in here, only because my dogs shed a lot, um, usually, if I'm not mistaken, she puts her dogs in the trunk, um, and this is like a, uh, this is an Equinox. So the trunk is pretty roomy. Um, usually she puts her dogs in the trunk, but my dogs, there'd be no purpose of me bringing my dogs just to put them in the trunk. The only time I ever put my dogs in the trunk is if I'm sitting in the back seat and like there's no room, like say the car is crowded, that's the only time I'd really put them in the trunk because then they can still kind of touch me or alert me. So only when fully necessary and it would just be besides the point and even if they had to alert them they'd have to like jump and like that's dangerous so we just opted out no dog coming to the dealership today um so that is why there's no dog with me i am getting better at um starting to work my dogs again it's been a difficult road um but basically especially on this break from youtube just everything with the community and then you know all of the drama in my personal life it just got really really hard to pretty much like just do anything so i really kind of slipped into like a little bit of a depression and just kind of didn't really want to work my dogs and also just my anxiety got a million times worse so as you guys know in my videos i'm usually the type of person who um is very confident when I walk into a building, especially with my dog. I'm very, I own the fucking joint. Like that is just kind of my vibe everywhere um, I used to go. But now I've gotten very comfortable not bringing a dog with me and just kind of toughing it out only because 
it just I literally cannot handle access issues anymore like I really really fucking can't it gives me way worse anxiety like like crippling crippling anxiety like I just want to go home after that and it ruins my entire day but I've been working my confidence back up and I've been taking them out just like you guys saw yesterday with going into Chili's I really was just terrified that I was gonna have an access issue because I had never taken Cody to that Chili's and that Chili's is literally right by my fucking house um, and I've gone there a couple times, but I usually don't bring a dog because I'm just gonna sit down and eat and you know Usually I'm not gonna really have a problem if I'm just gonna sit down and eat like yes, it can happen um, Do I have you know anxiety alerts that my dogs will be doing? Yeah, most definitely I especially have bad anxiety when my dogs aren't with me. It's like a double-edged sword It just fucking sucks, but I've been working on it um, and just trying to get back into the whole groove of working them and feeling confident with a working dog it's just been it's been crazy and i know that some people are gonna have like random opinions about it and listen this is the whole point of my entire channel the whole fucking point of this entire fucking channel is just opening up talking about stuff that maybe other handlers are too scared to talk about kind of letting you guys know that certain stuff while it may not be normal it is normal so that's kind of the whole point of me even talking about this i'm sure there's plenty of other handlers that have felt discouraged and you know maybe didn't want to work their dog for a day and then they have to deal with people going oh well then you don't need the dog if you're not going to go take it everywhere with you um that's not really how service dogs work service dogs are like wheelchairs for example there are certain people that maybe need the dog with them 24 7 and there are certain people that don't need the dog with them 24 7. do i need a dog with me at all times should i have a dog with me at all times yeah it would be helpful can i go somewhere without my dog depends if i'm by myself i probably fucking shouldn't because i'll probably end up in the hospital as a jane doe and it just wouldn't be a good scenario um so usually if i am out places on my own um i do have to have a dog with me um driving i have been pretty good about pulling over if like i need to have um you know if i'm having an episode or something i definitely do not drive while i'm having an episode um and i guess people are gonna have questions you know well what about like a fainting spell or something like that usually i will not have a fainting spell when i'm sitting down if that makes sense even like on a hill going up and down like yeah my stomach will turn but i don't really feel like i'm gonna faint um usually my fainting only occurs when i go from like standing up to really crouching down or sitting down or if I stand up too quickly um so it's not really I can also get dizzy if I'm in an episode so I can I know when I'm in an episode you know what I mean so I can pull over and just kind of have my episode then get back on the road when it's fully safe to do so so basically that's just my body that's you know my brain that's what works for me I would never be on the road if it's going to endanger myself or anybody else um very very much against that because especially here in Florida we have too many fucking people here and it's very hard to drive here now. Um, it's literally like almost close to New York City and it's ridiculous because Florida's supposed to be like the country, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm talking to y'all's ear off. But anyways, that's the tea. Um, yeah, I guess I'll pick this camera back up later when we're doing something more exciting. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mom, how did we end up at the dealership again? <laughs> Almost buying a new car. Yeah, we gotta do it, man. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so what happened, Ma? We got a new vehicle. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a spaceship. We call it the spaceship because <laughs> it literally is like a spaceship compared to your old car. You had a 2015. Prius. Yeah, 2015 Prius, and now she just got a 22 off the lot in a pretty color. What do you think, Nene? It's a Prius. <laughs> it's a Prius. Uh, <laughs> Nate's like trucks. Five miles to the gallon. I'm good. I know. Oh my god. I got 12. Brand spanking new. Let me show you guys how freaking pretty this alloy is. Wheels. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so pretty and there's nate's truck but <laughs> not as exciting i'm falling oh my god she's so party it just had to be in a really pretty color too i'm so jealous <laughs> pretty cool all right high five ma oh 
Well, that was fucking rude. <laughs> cool beans. Cool. Uh, you want? You want to go? You, you want to go? <laughs> Nate is currently teaching her how to make coffee in here. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> Pick that up. Oh, do, oh, hey, I caught it. <laughs> Where's your cover? I mean, fuck if I know. No, baby, that's not Mom, let's just get a big jug. <laughs> Get him, get him, get oh, get him, get him, Cody. You get him. Arr. Get him, Codes. Ah, you go get her. Go get her, Baymax. Get her. Ah, oh, you good boy. You took her down already. It was two seconds. You guys are getting old. Oh, oh my god, you guys are getting old. Get her. Get her, Max. Go. There we go. Hey, hey, inappropriate. <laughs> Usually works. <laughs> Hi, BB. You got drool on your ear. <laughs> Hey, Max, did you do that? <laughs> also, just because I get this question a lot, a lot of people are like, oh my god, what, what happened to Max? Where's Max at? Max is here. I mean, duh. And a lot of people ask me, you know, oh, like, does Cody only work? Or does Cody still work? So yes, obviously, like you guys saw earlier in the vlog, Cody does work. Baymax does work, too. Um, so that's the, that's the tea. It, they just kind of switch off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're back there. We're standing. We're standing. Oh, damn. Oh, my. Ah.
Yeah, I got it. All right, cool. I think we are set. Which one is it? Oh my god. Oh my We're god. at the park. We'll get to the toilet, boy. Are you tuckered out? Are you ready to go to the movies? Nate, do you know what movie we're going to see? Something with a dog. <sighs> we're going to see Chatham Tatum and a Malinois. And then after this, we're going to buy I a I thought Malinois. it was uh, a Chihuahua. It's a Chihuahua German Shepherd, that's why it looks like that. Wow. <laughs> I thought it would be so funny if we brought Max to the movies to see the new dog movie with the Malinois in it. Especially with all of his One Tigress gear. I mean, man, they're gonna think you starred in it. I'm gonna tell everybody that you played the lead role, Max. Okay? <laughs> he caught that. I know, he's so cool. Let's just take a minute to, here, let's just take a minute to look at the patches when Tigress hooked me the fuck up with. Tell me that doesn't look like Baymax. Um, <laughs> so definitely when we go to the movies, I'm going to switch this out because it can indicate that he's just a protection dog and not a service dog. Because service dogs are not supposed to be protective, even if they look scary. So we're going to switch this out. Just wanted to let everybody know. Come here. Come here. Oh shit, you already packed. I'm going to pack stuff up that you already have packed up, Nate. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Thanks. Don't, that's gonna fall. Oh my god. Oh, my god. <gasps> oh you tricked him. It's like you summoned him. <laughs> 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 okay, so we made it home. I am just extremely proud of all of my dogs. Like today has just been a really good day for all of them. He's thirsty. Oh yeah, he can have some water. His nose is a little dry. Where is the bowl? Um, on top of the dog food, your baby's outside? Yeah. Okay. But, I'm extremely proud of all my dogs. Baymax had a really, really good day. He sat through the entire movie. He did his little grumbles, which is, like, super cute. If anybody has a German Shepherd, you guys you know the grumbles that they make, the little huh, noises. Okay, just pick up the ball. Nate, just pick up the ball! I did! God. God. Anywho, you guys know the grumbles if you have a shepherd. But, Cody, can we talk about Cody for a second? Cody usually cannot be kenneled by herself at all. Cody has been kenneled on her own. How much water is in that? Okay, that's fine. Cody usually cannot be kenneled by herself. But today, for the entire day, well not like the entire day, but an entire day's worth of kenneling, I like to call it. Um, she has been by herself. Usually I'll move her and go put her in with Avery or something, um, just cause she just gets really bad anxiety being by herself. But she was uh, across from Tundra, um, but she basically spent um, a couple hours in the kennel all by herself and she didn't try to break out nothing she was like let me the fuck out of here but other than that she I mean when we got home but other than that she's awesome Tundra perfect perfect little girl um no accidents ate most of her f food and um yeah so a plus for the doggos today today's been a good day
Why are you bullying me?